Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jo Carter and today I'm going to be doing a type of reading vlog where I'm going to be reading for an hour each night this week. I read every morning while having a coffee before work and I normally like to read in the evenings when I get home but lately I've been realising that I haven't been prioritising reading in the evenings and more often than not I will do all these other things for most of my evening and then go, alright time to read and probably want to fall asleep. So I'm going to try and read for an hour, even if it's over a couple of sessions, to see if I can get back into the habit of it. And just because I don't really want to waste my time watching a ton of TV, which is what I've been doing. I've got three books that I'll be reading. I'll probably start off with The Land of Painted Caves by Jean M. Arul. This is the last in a series. I'm nearly halfway there. I think I'm about 40%. It's really big. If I, I'll probably get sick of reading that for an hour. So I will then pick up, oh god this one's heavy. Oh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of File Illustrated. <laughs> this one has been interesting actually because I've been reading it to look at the illustrations, not actually to experience the story. So I've been reading it really slowly because I keep wanting to just turn the pages and see what all the illustrations are instead of actually partaking in the story and that's not how I want to read it and I also have if I get really sort of sick of sitting down and I can't sit still I've got an audio book called The Name of the Wind that I'm listening to and I can do some audio and some cleaning or some puzzling I'm going to get reading now because it's 8 30 and I tend to go to bed at 10 so that'll be an hour so 9 30 if I do it the whole way or maybe have a half an hour break at nine and then read for another half an hour but I'm pretty tired tonight so I may just smash, smash it all out in an hour and then go to bed at 9 30. So he's hoping I can stay focused and I'll see you guys again afterwards. down at 26 minutes in I'm up to page 343 and I believe that's 12 pages I think not very far but I really enjoy these books they're just really relaxing but I do sort of get bored of them um I don't know if I'd say bored but I just get kind of like small sessions I guess like just a bit and a bit and a bit like they they're not Often I'm gripped to know what happens, but I'm definitely keen to continue just after I try something else. But I need to get comfortable because I feel like this dog is squeezing me out like I'm not... <laughs> I feel like he keeps getting closer and closer to me and I can't fit my little booty on the couch, so... I'm up to page 74. The Quittage World Cup, and if you don't care about spoilers for the illustrations, I'm going to show you one. How pretty. So it's Quittage. Not like my favourite illustration, but damn. I love these. They're such beautiful books. Just really unfortunate that their author decides to become... Shitty online, don't meet your heroes. Not that JK Rowling was a hero, but yeah. Oh, I'm still going to enjoy this. I've already bought it now. It's And like sort of other people have said as well, Harry Potter is its own thing now. And I'm happy that I get to support a gorgeous artist because Jim K is fantastic. Hey guys. It's now 10.30 and I am in bed ready for sleep. I didn't do any reading in bed. I don't tend to these days. I ended up finishing my hours reading half an hour ago at 10 o'clock. So it did take me about an hour and a half with interruptions. I talked to Daniel a fair bit for about half an hour. So that was really nice as well. And that is also why my update is another half an hour afterwards after I finished because I was still talking to him. So that was nice. But this was actually easier than I expected to. I was really glad to have had two books. 
I didn't listen to any of my audiobook. I just did 20 pages of Harry Potter, 12 pages of The Land of Painted Caves, and 20 big pages of Harry Potter because they're illustrated. I'm not surprised though. Harry Potter is just super easy to read and super fun. So it's a, it's a good book to pair with The Land of Painted Caves, which can be, even though I still really want to read it and I still really enjoy it, it's not always super engaging. And because the author does repeat herself a lot, which can be really great because there's a lot of characters there, it helps not to forget things, but sometimes it can be a little bit monotonous to read in like a big reading session. I'm looking forward to tomorrow and I will see you guys again soon. And I have this little book full of... Can you see? Let me see his butt. <laughs> I only got to 47 minutes tonight, but I'm too sleepy, so I'm going to bed. I read most of Harry Potter tonight, it's Tuesday, and I'm really enjoying that. I was starting to read a little bit of The Clan of the Cave Bears, but they're doing more summarizing, so I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm too tired. I'll um, read more in the morning, but I'm just happy to have done this a second day, and I hope that it's gonna be a habit. Hey everyone, it's Wednesday night. I really didn't assess my priorities that well because I only got 16 minutes of reading done. I waited until nine o'clock to maybe start reading and that would only just be fitting in my hour before bed at 10 when it's been taking me an hour and a half with distractions to get the hour done. And it wasn't actually until about 9.30 that I started doing stuff because I was still on Facebook and things like that. And even though I've still got 15 minutes so I could read for a solid um, half an hour, I'm tired. So I'm just going to go to bed and try again tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. I missed my postings this week, my midweek and my weekend videos. I have no excuse for midweek, but on the weekend I actually went and visited family away from me. So about three hours away, which was really lovely. And I didn't actually film anything at all. So this is going to be the start of my outro, my wrap up for this reading vlog of trying to read an hour every evening. I've still got to go and do the reading for tonight. It's actually Sunday night now. I didn't do any reading Friday or Saturday, but I'm back Sunday night with Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I've only got about half an hour until bedtime, maybe 40 minutes. Hey guys. So I read for about 20 minutes and I got about 14 pages done. So it's pretty good but I've also stayed up way later than I should have and I wasn't reading. I was on my computer on the internet like a naughty person, but I have actually just downloaded this new program called Notion, which my older sister uses. That's gonna be good. I'm gonna go to bed now. Thanks everybody for watching it. It means so much to me. Sorry that I've been a bit sort of lax with posting this past week, but this will be a really quick and fun video to edit. I don't really like doing constant like weekly reading vlogs because I feel like nothing really changes as quickly with me. I, I'll probably be talking about like the same books over and over again as I slowly read them, which is why I generally prefer to do reading vlogs based on like reading a whole book just across one vlog instead of doing like multiple vlogs just talking about the same ones. <laughs> so but it's been, yeah, it's been really fun to consciously read again in the evenings. And I will chat to you all guys again soon. I post videos twice a week, once midweek and then once on the weekend. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. Bye.